welcome here to the Wilmington Organics Recycling Center. This is the largest food waste composting facility on the East Coast and the only large-scale composting facility in the city limits of a major city in the United States. What we're doing here is every day taking hundreds of tons of food waste and other organics and over an eight-week period we're turning that into high-quality compost and topsoil. The process that we're using here is really Mother Nature but we're optimizing the conditions for Mother Nature to do it in a much faster way than she would do. All the material that's brought here for processing and all the finished products that we manufacture here are weighed so we have a precise knowledge of what's coming in and what's going out. Every truck that comes in is identified, what's on that truck is identified, so that we can take a load of food waste that comes in today and track it from cradle to grave so we know exactly what we're producing and where it came from. The material that has been weighed on the scale that we saw earlier is all directed to this building behind me and we call this a tipping building because the trucks tip their load and dump the waste on the floor of this building. Inside this building is where we prepare the recipe for composting. What's going on in this building, one could use the analogy, it's like a kitchen. And the loader operator behind me is the, is the chef because he's putting together the right ingredients that are needed for composting. The right combination of wood waste and food waste, which gives us the right carbon to nitrogen ratio and the right moisture. And once he's put that mixture together, we then introduce it to the machine right here, this orange machine, which is a shredder and mixer that further sizes the material and homogenizes it as well as mixes it up and uh, it's ready for composting at that point. So what these gentlemen behind me are doing are looking for materials that don't compost. Plastic doesn't compost. Glass doesn't compost. Large pieces of metal. So consequently, they're picking that material, putting it into a container where it then goes off to the landfill and making our recipe that much more clean for composting. That conveyor deposits that recipe uh, mixture of, of uh, wood and food waste right behind me. So that uh, by mixing the food waste with wood waste, uh, we've got a nice mixture of material ready for composting. It doesn't smell and it's ready to go out in the field. Behind me is the compost field and this is where the actual compost composting takes place. And again, what we're doing is we're providing Mother Nature with the optimum conditions. The process, and you can see the windrows behind me, is eight weeks, separated into three distinct phases. Phase one, the material that we saw processed in the receiving building and uh, dumped out on the conveyor, is placed into one of the windrows. We cover it with the gore cover material. We secure the sides. We put that oxygen probe in and that temperature probe in, and then we walk away for a month. And in that first month, the material is converted dramatically from food waste to compost. Although that compost isn't finished yet, it still has that oxygen demand. Each individual row has its own brain. It's called a comp master, and it has inputs on it, and it receives information from our probes. We use a single temperature probe and a single oxygen probe to monitor what's going on with inside of our heaps. You can see the temperatures that are in the probe that are coming from the temperature probe. So, we're in the 150s in this particular heap, which is well above the range that we have to be at from a regulatory standpoint. You have to be at 131 degrees for three consecutive days. That's called PFRP, or the process to further reduce pathogens. At 131 degrees for three consecutive days, you kill off fecal coliform, fecal coliform salmonella, all of those bad bacteria that you really don't want coming through that could very well come in in the feedstocks that we upset, that we accept. The other great thing is it kills weed seeds, which is another benefit to us, because the last thing you want to do is sell somebody compost with a bunch of dandelions or tomatoes or anything like that that's going to grow in it. If you can control how much moisture you lose, you can control how fast you compost. The Comp Master itself, by using the oxygen probe, derives respiration from inside the heap. And it's a, you know, it's a pretty rough way of saying it, but what it does basically is it figures out how much air it takes to compost efficiently without pumping any extra air in. So you're saving energy 
you know, from a standpoint of your blowers running, things like that, but you're also creating the optimal environment to create the energy to break down our materials, which is key for us because we got to do this in eight weeks. This windrow will now be covered with the gore cover material, which we can see behind us, it's half covered, with this device, which is a, um, a winding machine that very efficiently and rapidly uh, covers the pile as we're making it. And that cover weighs about two tons, so it's an efficient way of doing it. We'll put the oxygen and temperature probe in, and we'll walk away for a month and let Mother Nature do its work. It'll become compost in a month that then still needs to be processed in phase two and phase three, but the lion's share of the work um, in preparing compost from food waste is done in that first four weeks. We cover it again in phase two for another two weeks and have the same process by monitoring the oxygen. And then after phase two, we uncover that phase two windrow and move it to phase three, which is uncovered but is um, aerated, so we dry the material out and prepare it for screening, and once it's screened, it's ready to go. It's a finished product. So this device is uh, our final screen system, and it uh, includes a rotary trommel screen uh, in the center here that will separate by size, but it also includes an air separator because plastic is lighter than compost, so that sucks the plastic away from the material. And we have a second magnet, so that any silverware or metal that might have gotten through that first magnet in the, big, the first uh, tipping building is pulled out here. After it's gone through the screen system, this is the end result. And uh, this is our fine screen compost. And as you can see, it's a nice, rich, dark material. This is about 50% organic. Um, it has uh, uh, nutrients in it, uh, very clean material, and anything that grows will benefit from this. Eight weeks ago, this material was a banana or that cardboard box that we saw that came in, came in this morning. Eight weeks from now, it'll look like this.